Hello everyone and welcome to another Tool Nutter video. Now there was a knock at the door, I opened the door and on the doorstep was this. Well it was properly wrapped of course because just to leave something like this on a doorstep even with social distancing would be absolutely ridiculous. So it was all packaged, I've saved you the pain of watching me try and struggle to open it because it was incredibly well packed and uh, here it is. So we've uh, come in the warm to uh, have a look exactly what it is. Of course it's a metal box and you can tell it's metal because it sounds like metal. To give you an idea of the size, it's uh, 19 inches or 48 centimetres by 6 inches or 15 and a half centimetres and it weighs quite a bit. Most people are familiar with Brightall socket sets, they've been around for a number of years and this is not one of the um, modern ones, you can tell because if you look underneath the uh, Brightall logo you can see a little number. Now for those who are not familiar with um, military stock this is what's called a NATO stock number. It's basically a sequence of numbers to catalogue every product which um, military will store. You can tell it's military because it's got the arrow which is called a crow's foot, has that there as well. So because it's not a recent NATO stock number um, it's not a current issue. I would deduce that this is probably from the 1970s, possibly even the 60s. So it's in really good condition, very very little uh, wear on the actual box itself. So uh, what say we uh, open it and have a look and see what we've um, got. Wow, doesn't that look shiny? It looks pretty much complete. It certainly looks the same as the picture. Now the model is an NA653L which is a socket set with both metric and AF imperial sockets and associated ratchets and drivers and all that sort of thing. There isn't um, a label which normally there's a label somewhere around there which will have the actual contents but because there isn't one I found you one and you'll see it now. Let's go through and have a look at uh, the what is actually in the box and make sure that nothing is missing. The first thing that you can see on top is the speed brace, the E42. So this is a standard speed brace. You'd operate it like that. You have the ratchet which is a half inch drive E74 I think it's a 72, 72 tooth ratchet so that's in pretty good condition we have the E97 extension bar which is a 5 inch extension The, the E70 sliding bar and I think that should be the 56 handle. That's basically a Tommy bar. We've got the knuckle which is E91 Again, all this is in very good condition. Then we have the spark plug remover for 14mm spark plugs, so that's a 1316 AF. I have that. Then sockets wise, let's um, check off the metric first. So starting off with the metric sockets first, there should be nine sockets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've we've already got an extra one compared to the list. So let's go through them individually. Um, we should have the ten mil one. That is a ten. We have an eleven mil. Twelve mil. Thirteen. 
that's a 40. Then it jumps, we've got the 17. There's a 19. And the next one should be a 22. Ah, we have a 21. Maybe there was a need for a 21 mil socket. Then we have a 22. And I'm guessing this is a 24. Yeah. Now some of these look like they have been replaced at some point. But they all, they all are genuine bright holes. Just a slight difference in finish. As you can see here. But not fussed. Happy. So we've actually got an extra socket in there. Maybe it was supposed to be in there in the first place, I don't know. According to it, there was no space for an extra socket. They've obviously put one in there. Right, let's have a look at the AFs. So there should be ten on the set. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten there. Right, so let's uh, just have a quick check of the sizes. So we'll go left to right so it's easier. We've got um, a one-inch one. It's easy to spot. This I think is the 1316. No, it's 1516, sorry. 7 eighths. 1316. That's a 3 quarter. 1116. Five eights. Let me a nine sixteen. Yeah. Half. Oops. Tight. And a seven sixteen there. Could probably find a smaller one to put in there if I wanted to, but that is complete according to uh, the listing and according to the um, information sticker that I found so yeah happy days with them but they say they're all in great condition so this really doesn't need much restoration it's in great condition there's nothing really to even clean off there's um, it's, it's in clean condition and um, the last person clearly cared for it a little bit because they put a, a light coating of uh, probably WD-40 or something similar on the, the sockets because there's a bit of a sheen on them, which is good. Um, and there's some of the paint is coming off on the box, just through normal use, but there's no rust or anything. So what I might do, just to prevent any more from coming off, is make, make up some linings for the, the bottom of the, the tray. Um, I've got a few ideas what I'm going to use for that, possibly some um, commercially available drawer liner. I might use some rock-proof material. Um, but I'll, I'll crack on with that and I'll get that sorted. Right, let's get it all packed up, and as if by magic, wow, how good's that, the power of television. Right, on with the, the day, but I thought I'd just show you what arrived, and uh, yeah, really happy with it. If you want to follow more adventures with um, socket sets and everything else, then uh, you can check out me on Instagram, just at the top there, and if you've enjoyed this video, hopefully you'll enjoy these ones as well. But with that, thank you very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And any comments, love to hear them. Until next time, thanks for watching and bye for now.